Hello, this is Claude and uh, today I am making a video about the Arocat Sans AMO RGB mousepad. Uh, I'm going to do a very quick video about uh, the specifications of it and my uh, first uh, thoughts on this mousepad. I've been using this mousepad for about like four or five days. Uh, so uh, let's start with the dimensions of the mousepad. It's about uh, 10 uh, inches, 25 centimeters by about uh, 14 inches or 35 centimeters uh, so these are the uh, dimensions uh, if you compare with the traditional regular um, you know uh, mouse pad from steel series as you can see on the width side it's going to be uh, this is the I think the extra the large one uh, the typical one uh, so it's a little you know uh, you know narrower but the thing is that that's what I want you to see here if you look at this uh, so it's it's shorter than the standard uh, you know a steel series gaming mouse pad. I don't remember if it's the large or the XL. So um, so just a comment about this. So uh, if you look at this uh, mouse pad, uh, you will see that it's got the RGB uh, light strip on this thing. It's got the Roka thing. It's got the a little switch over here, a button. I'm gonna go through the software, see what it does, and uh, and the little logo over there. So let's talk about all these components. Um, so first thing, the logo, uh, it's, uh, you can really feel the logo, so it's not very subtle, it's like a decal on top of. Now you're not going to go in this area really much, but it's still not the, the best that I've seen. Uh, if you look at this cluster over here with the control over there, one of the things that I noticed is that it's, uh, it's not even. So the thing is, is that if you look at the construction of this thing here, uh, it just goes here, and then there's the mouse pad that goes, you know, biting into that. Uh, so it's not very good because it doesn't sit properly. Uh, same thing here with the bottom of the mouse pad, and uh, this is where it's going to kill the whole thing. The, the bottom of the mouse pad is fairly slippery on the surface. Uh, if I compare with the, 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 the good old reliable steel series, it's dirty. It's, uh, this thing is not, once it's on the desk, it's not going nowhere. Uh, what I've noticed uh, in game is that when you are gaming with this and you're moving the mouse, you know, uh, like crazy, uh, this mouse pad will have a tendency to shift and it's, uh, it's, it doesn't stay on the surface. Um, just, uh, you know, if you use that to look good, it's, it's okay, but uh, if you're going to be gaming with this, uh, this is one of the shortcomings. It, it moves around. I've seen it move around. Uh, here, I think that this thing here is too narrow. Uh, because you're not going to be gaming this, even though this is the wireless uh, mouse of uh, Rokat, the King 200. Uh, I've seen myself knocking this thing all, uh, over and over. Uh, so it's, uh, it's not, if it would be a little wider, maybe like an inch more, you would have more room to go around. You wouldn't necessarily hit it. But, you know, once your hand is above the little ridge over there, uh, it puts the mouse over here. So it doesn't leave you much play, uh, you know, uh, to not hit this thing. So that's one of the things that I've noticed, all right? Uh, the surface itself is, is nice, so I cannot complain about this. It's a typical uh, thing. It's very similar to the uh, Steel Series mouse pad. Um, one of the things that uh, you, you, I will say about the RGB thing on the side, it's like stitch on the side. All right. Uh, when I purchased, when I got mine, and I can still, you can still see that, uh, there is some kind of a, a, a piece of trash or something like a little thingy that got uh, into the stitching. Uh, of my uh, mouse pad. So there's kind of a piece of crud in there. Uh, you know, it got there during obviously a production and manufacturing because I opened the box and it wasn't there. So that's one thing here. Um, I don't like it. Also, the RGB strip as well is kind of uh, stiff. So when you, you know, your, your elbow, you know, rubs against that, uh, not your elbow, but the, the wrist uh, rubs against that. The elbow would be difficult, but the wrist uh, rubs against that. It's, it's bothersome and it's very plasticky and I don't like that. All right. Uh, also, if you look at the shape here, you can see that little shadow right here. Uh, the thing doesn't sit straight on the table, all right? So you can see right there by the shadow right here, okay? It doesn't sit straight on the table. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, the same can be said uh, over here. Uh, so it's not straight. It doesn't sit flat on the table. So uh, it's not the best for gaming, all right? Uh, so uh, it looks okay if you like Rocat. For the price, I think I paid some 30-something euros for this thing. Um, and you know what? Uh, I'll tell you right. Spill the beans right now. It's not worth it. It's a piece of junk. Uh, if you still like it, if you look, if you think it looks good, you're gonna just be doing like office work with this thing, which is not the case for it. But you know, it's it's supposed to be a gaming mouse pad. I'll still continue with my review. 
Uh, I'm going into the software right now. Uh, hopefully, I am recording, uh, and I am recording. Uh, so if I go into the software, just so you see quickly, it's a Rocket Swarm. It sees a, a Sense Amo right there. Uh, I'm just going to go sh uh, show what it does. It's very you know easy what this thing does. Uh, so you got the button here. So the, you basically can the button that's on top over here. You can assign it uh, to do uh, something uh, specific. Uh, so uh, now I've got the effect toggle. So if you click on this, you will see it's going to change uh, the effect uh, you know that it's got. All right. Uh, so that's what it is. And then uh, now if I go there, it's going to do the wave thing. If I click on this again, fully lit. If I click on this again, it's going to do the heartbeat. All right. I don't even know if it. That, it's yeah, it's doing it right now. Uh, click on this again. It's going to do the breathing. Okay. Heartbeat breathing to me is pretty close enough. And then the custom mode. So these are the different things here. And uh, so effect toggle. You can have a brightness toggle. So make it like go from uh, you know brighter to less bright. Uh, so yeah, the software took this. So if I go here, uh, yeah, it, it should go and, and change the uh, the brightness. All right. So. Uh, there you go. So that's the brightness toggle. All right. Um, okay. Uh, if I go here, the effect, the speed toggle. All right. So that's probably the speed of the effect. I don't even know what it does. You know, uh, I don't even know what it does. I'll be quite honest. I have no clue what it does. Uh, so basically, me what I just do, and then there's an on and off toggle. This one is easy to understand. Uh, you're gonna have. The RGB on enough, and, and actually, you know what? That's uh, I'll leave it like that. That's the best thing uh, for me. So uh, basically, conclusion of this thing here is um, you know, it's thirty some euros. Uh, it looks okay. It fits with the Rocat thing there, but the the the, the mat is not even. Uh, the stitching, as well as you can see here, is not even. It's got a piece of crud under it. Um, it's not even because I sold the the lip over here. Um, you know, do want to do RGB? Make the little Rocat be RGB as well. <laughs> You know, if you're going to do it, might as well do it uh, well. Uh, so uh, I think this one here is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fail. So uh, I do not recommend banning it, uh, buying it. So uh, that's my two cents with this uh, Rollcat Sense AMO mouse pad. All right. Hope that uh, I help people with their buying decision. And uh, see you at the next video. Thanks. Ciao.